All right, guys, I'm back. And so today, tonight, whatever, we're going to answer a question that comes up in comments a lot on videos. And I answer it often responding to comments. But, you know, I've often said I'm going to make a video, <clears throat> excuse me, just about this, addressing this. And uh, I don't know how exciting just me talking about it's going to be. So I figured I'd pull out my favorites from the Jade Collection. We could just look at some knives while we do this to make it a little exciting anyway. But the topic is uh, subscription boxes um, or envelopes or packages or whatever. But monthly subscriptions, okay? What is the value or how do we, how do we, how do we calculate the value? How do we decide if they're worth it? Are they worth it? And, you know, I've always said, if you read my, my reply to comments, there are different ways to calculate that value, to decide if it's worth it. And, you know, I, I've mentioned this, you know, in lives as, as it comes up. And, and like I said, over and over in comment responses. So I'm actually just going to put this video out right out there. Hopefully people can look for it and um, they can you know, instead of just onesies and twosies res responding to comments, people can just look this up and, and see my take on it. And, you know, you don't have to agree, obviously, but um, here we go. So subscription boxes have been around for years and years and years. And we've been on this channel, we've been reviewing various ones. Um, Battle Box, with my very love-hate relationship with them, um, has been on the channel since 2000 and... I couldn't even tell you how long. Um, 16, maybe? Um, five years? Uh, some, you know, some subscriptions have come and gone, like Alpha Outpost. Um, or, I can't, you know, I, I mean, honestly, you'd have to go back and look. I can't remember all of them. Some are, are relatively new to the channel right now, like uh, the Going Gear EDC Club. Some others have, you know, come and gone away and come back like the the poor man's preparing uh, the the pmp um there are a lot of similarities in a lot of them some of them are very different than others there was one that i tried i never really did a video on it but it was the aloha box and it was just kind of you know, hawaii surf kind of clothing box because that is you know i lived in florida for a lot at two different time periods and kind of surf bum was my style for a long time i uh, lived right on the beach and you know spent a lot of time there so um there's you know and i there are a lot of different subscriptions out there so um some people are very dead set against subscriptions monthly subscriptions they are just they're terrible they're a waste of money you never get back what you put in some people like them a lot some people think that you do get out what you put into them. Um, some people are kind of like, eh, I don't know. Um, some people think that they're for suckers um, that don't know what they're doing. Some people, and I, I kind of like this idea, um, some people say I like to see the unboxings of the, of the subscription boxes and I see what I like and I buy that specifically and then I don't get anything I don't like. Um, I have always said that subscription boxes... Um, have three distinct different types of values to me. Um, so there's three different ways that I evaluate a subscription. Um, you know, and and like I said, you can agree, disagree, um, but this is the way that I look at it. Um, first of all, I know that, look at that beautiful blade on that Kershaw Echelon, out of production, discontinued blade, but man, it's gorgeous. Um, so I know that it's a business for, for the subscription company. They're trying to make money. They're not trying to give you the best deal. We know that. They're trying to buy in bulk, get a good deal, and then make money on the box, right? So you're never going to find a box that is a super, you know, you spend $100 and get two or $300 worth of stuff out of it. That's not going to happen. It's just not going to happen. And if you think it is, you're doing it wrong because that's not how it goes. Now... We there is an expectation that you at least get your money back out of the box, and there is also kind of an expectation that you may, in terms of the value, what's in it, make a couple bucks, make a little bit. Um, there are some subscriptions. Uh, Monthly Knife Club Onyx is a good one, good example, where you usually do get more value monetarily out of the box than you put in. 
um, and I think every month you usually you usually do get at least a little bit more out than you put in. But the monetary value of the box is just one way to look at the value of a subscription box. And unfortunately, I think that is that is the only way that most people look at it. And I understand that. That's totally fair, totally valid. That's what a lot of people do. When you buy a product, you look at your dollars in towards the value of the product out. And, you know, that's uh, that's the way a lot of people look at it. But that is one one way that I that I evaluate a box is the actual monetary value of the things in the box um, because to me there are other values associated with it and again this is you you may not you may not agree but this is the way i look at it so number one there is the actual monetary value of the things in the box now since i go into it knowing that the subscription box is a money-making enterprise for the company um, I, I know that their that their goal is not to give me the best value that I can have. It's to it's to give them the best value that they can have in terms of taking my money and packing it with stuff that they can buy for the best price. Um, I get it. Uh, there are some companies where the owners really do care about their customers and try harder than others. I'm not going to name any names, but for the most part, uh, companies you know want to want to buy low sell high just like the stock market you know um some of these by the way scales you can see are dyed jade g10 um some of them are more of actually you know what i just realized uh all of the minty green jade i i left in the, the, the drawers this one this one this one and this one i dyed um a darker green color the second way that i evaluate the value of subscription boxes is the opportunity to discover things that I might not otherwise have have tried. Now that doesn't mean that there's super mysterious things in a subscription box that you're not going to find anywhere else. That's not it. Um, a lot of times, the stuff that comes in subscription boxes, you can find at common places: Walmart, REI, um, Bass Pro, or Cabela's, or something like that. You know, uh, Target even. You know, just you can find these these. So a lot of these products at other places. But the thing is, there's a lot of things that come in these boxes that A, I haven't even seen before, or B, I might have seen, or I, I might run into somewhere, but I'm probably not likely to pick it up myself. I probably, like if I see it, I probably wouldn't say I'm gonna spend my money on that and buy it. And the truth is there are brands and there are products that I have discovered through the boxes that I actually do use, that I have found useful, that I've enjoyed. There's a lot that I think are crap. Because again, they're looking for stuff that they can buy in bulk at a low price, stuff in the boxes and make some money on. The opportunity to discover cool stuff that I might otherwise not have put my hands on, that is a value to me, to me. When I, when I buy a box, when I, you know, buy into a subscription, that is something that I am, I personally am willing to pay for. So that's kind of, it's almost an intangible value. How do you put a price, what price do you put on that? Um, that's, it's kind of hard. And that's, if you do believe that that is a, that that's an intangible value that's in the box, that's up to each individual person to decide how much is that worth? What is that worth? <clears throat> you know, what, what it's worth to me is more, very likely, you know, not the same that it's worth to somebody else. So. Uh, it's hard to say that, you know, to me, and, and it's hard to put a value on it. It's worth $15 of the of the box's price. You know, I'm, I'm saying is worth the potential to discover something cool. Well, you know, what if you what if you discover something that's really cool that you really love? Do you now say, oh, well, I you know what? 50% of this box's value is worth this, you know, you can't put a price on that. It just is something that you accept or you don't accept, that you believe in or you don't believe in. That part of the, um, it, it's 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 like it's like paying for an expedition to potentially discover stuff. You know what I mean? Um, and and I am willing to pay a certain amount to have these things sent to me to potentially discover stuff. Um, now I recognize that that is a that is that is as much gambling as putting a coin in a slot machine and pulling the handle and seeing what comes up. Again, some people are willing to go to Vegas and throw money down uh, at the, the blackjack table, throw money down at the roulette table, put money in a slot machine. Other people are not. Other people say that's a foolish waste of money. Um, but 
you know, those people that are willing to gamble say, well, you know what, you know, no, you don't venture, you're never going to, you know, get anything back. I mean, they're, again, it's all personal opinion, but I'm just saying that is, so to me, that is a second value that is inherent in these boxes. So we have the actual monetary dollars in to dollars out, and then we have the uh, non-tangible value of potentially discovering new new brands, new pieces of equipment, um, new things that might not otherwise have have put my hands on. The third kind of value that I place on subscription boxes is that there is an entertainment to it. There's an excitement to it. Uh, the I don't know what's in this box. It is a surprise. Now, this again is very personal some people are not willing to say that that's worth anything there are some people that don't want the surprise they want to see every leak they want to see every video they want to watch every review before they get their box and in which case then to say that it's you know an entertaining surprise to unbox it it, it just doesn't mean anything because you've already seen however many people do it now those of you who who regularly watch my channel know that I refuse to see anything about any subscription package before I unbox it for two reasons. Number one, I like the surprise factor. Again, that's the entertainment for me. That's the excitement of opening that box sight unseen, figuring out what's in it you know, for the very first time. But also, when I do an unboxing and review video, I want my first time reaction to be exactly what you guys see in the video. I don't want it to, I don't, I don't, I, I don't want there to be any spoilers because I want you guys to to see and hear firsthand, you know, unadulterated, unfiltered, unwatered down what my exact reaction to that item in that package is. Um, I, I want it to be as true to life as possible. There is, to me, I am willing to pay a little bit of a premium for that excitement. It's fun. It's like unwrapping a present, you know, that you, know, you don't know what's in it and, you know, you get to kind of guess and speculate. Um, and once again, some people are are willing to spend a little money for that kind of fun excitement a little bit of adventure um some people are not it, it all depends on your personal feelings and once again if i've beaten this dead horse enough you know where, how are you willing to spend your money and and what kind of values do you place on it i do not disagree with the folks who say you know well there's better ways to spend your money yeah there probably are better ways to spend your money um, but what I don't agree with are those who say that subscription boxes have no value or that they're for people who, who um, don't know any better because you know what, there's a lot of us who do know better. Like we, we know gear, we know how to buy gear, we know what gear we wanna buy, uh, we know what we need to put in a bug out bag or you know, a go bag for, you know, or you know, g g pack bags for different situations or different geographical regions, we know how to do that. Um, there, yes, and I agree. There are a bunch of people who get these boxes because they saw a prepping show on, on TV and they are like scared now and they don't know what to do. So they get these boxes thinking that's going to give them everything they need. And to those people, I do feel sorry because that's not the answer. Um, but for a lot of people, it is just a lot of fun to get the box. Um, and it doesn't mean that they are ignorant or that they are dumb or that they know any less than anybody else. And you know what? If you get some junky stuff, you know what I do with a lot of it? I, I donate it to like local scout troops. I will uh, give it to friends that do appreciate it. Um, I'll do giveaways on the channel with it. Because just because I don't like it or I don't find it useful doesn't mean nobody else does. And it, what I will not do is hand off... Hand off like real pieces of crap though like like just if i look at an item and, and i'm like it is pure piece of crap i won't put that in somebody else's hands um there is stuff that i have thrown away there's stuff that is still sitting in the closet for years and years and years um, but you know if i'm going to pass off a piece of gear to someone else i'm gonna i'm gonna make sure it at least has a use or a value in it like i can't tell you how many little uh, Mylar survival blankets I've gotten in boxes. Um, at this point, it's frustrating to have one more of those things around. But you know what? In an emergency, they do have a use and they are a filler item, you know, in a box where they just want to pump up the value another couple bucks and put one more item on the card. Um, but there are people who don't have one of those very basic items. Um, there are people who could make use of it, and it is an item that can be used. So that's something I might give away, you know, and donate somewhere and stuff like that. Um, 
some of the absolute just dumb ass um some people have more money than brains items that i see in some of these boxes i won't i won't give a, i like those just need to just go away but so anyway that is that is the that is the shortest version of of what what is the value in subscription boxes are they worth spending any money on and you know again you got you got to ask yourself what is what is your money worth what is the your your personal entertainment worth what is the discovery worth um or is it all about the value of the dollars that you put into the monetary value of the stuff that you take out from the box i mean only you can tell you what it's worth but th that is one guy's opinion on on how we can look at the you know the dollar to value ratio of subscription boxes um and then every single one of them is different there are some that are like i said the going gear edc club has provided some very useful and cool edc tools and stuff it's very nice knives things like that there are some subscriptions um like the nomadic that i tried out once upon a time and you know i said earlier i'm not going to name names but i am that's a bunch of hipster foo-foo uh i don't think i ever felt like i got a good dollar to dollar value out of that box at all uh on any of the months i tried it i still got some of the i still got some of the fun of like the you know being excited knowing it was coming and unboxing it but i was disappointed in the actual items you know um I wouldn't recommend anybody spend their money on, on that. Um, you know, and you can go through the channel and you can, you know, my channel and you can look at the various boxes that we've looked at, the ones we still are, some of the old ones, you know, and, and see my take on them. But anyway, that's it. That's, that's it. That's just some ways you can look at the values of, of these subscription boxes and are they worth it? Are they not? And I'm welcome to, you know, I'd love to hear everybody's opinion on it. You don't have to agree with me. Um, you know, if you're new around here, I absolutely don't censor opinions that are different from mine. Um, I also answer, you know, smart-ass comments with smart-ass replies, but, you know, whatever. Uh, I, I just, yeah, I, I welcome the debate and the discussion on it. Um, if you have a kind of a, a value to the box that I didn't mention, feel free to throw it in. Or if you um, have another opinion, feel free to put that in also. Um, but there you go. I hope maybe this... Maybe this, uh, as a standalone video, will make it a little easier than, than having it come up in the comments over and over and over again. I don't know, but there you go. So, so anyway, guys, thanks for uh, listening to me babble on and on about it. Um, um, kind of looking forward to seeing what kind of discussions we can have. And uh, remember that you guys are all absolutely awesome. I appreciate every single one of you. And I'll be back again real soon.